So welcome for another uh, video related to food and uh, today we're going to talk about pastries. Pastries. So you probably heard about it, like the classic ones like croissant, pain au chocolat, pain au raisin and at the same time you heard about uh, crème brûlée, tarte tatin, uh, tarte aux fraises. Uh, so in North America in uh, yeah in Canada or in the US they categorize everything in the same thing as French pastry right uh, but the thing is there is a distinction between pâtisserie pastry and viennoiserie viennoiserie so what the French is a viennoiserie you would say like viennoiserie all right so let me break it down for you and you will uh, understand and it's going to make sense at the end of this video. So, as I just said in the intro, there are a main distinction to make when it comes to uh, uh, French food and especially breakfast. Alright, so I would say there is pastry and viennoiserie. Pâtisserie, it's it's written pâtisserie, okay, pâtisserie, but there's a letter E that you don't pronounce, and it's going to be the same. You will learn this as you go along with this channel, uh, and so 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 many words, and English people get tricked by it. It's like they overpronounce uh, letters that don't need to. So it's written pâtisserie, uh, but it's everybody say. Majority of people say pâtisserie. Pâtisserie. Am I doing the same way? Or right way? Anyway, you get the point. Pâtisserie et viennoiserie. Viennoiserie. And so, what is it? What's the difference? What's the big difference? Let's say viennoiserie. Okay. Uh, let's get a little historical. Okay. Briefly. Don't worry. I'm not going to bore you with history. It's not what, it is, what this channel is all about. Viennoiserie comes from Austria. Okay, the city called Vienna. Uh, in French, you say Vienne. It's called, that's where it comes from. Viennoiserie. Viennoiserie. Say it with me. Viennoiserie. Viennoiserie. And same uh, with the silent E. It's written Viennoiserie, but it's written, it's uh, spelled it said uh, viennoiserie viennoiserie so basically you have two categories two categories pastry viennoiserie pastry is uh, everything considered as let's say a little fancy okay something you might have in the middle of the afternoon for tea time or mainly for dessert okay pastry Pâtisserie is mostly for dessert. You could have uh, tarte aux pommes, tarte aux fraises, anything pie actually, anything tart, right? So uh, when you hear those tart, this tart, that, uh, you will know it's mostly for dessert, okay? And it's very popular in restaurants when you get the dessert menu, you will see pastries. Pâtisserie. You will never see pastries as uh, croissant or pain au chocolat or uh, pain au raisin for dessert. Okay, it's a breakfast thing. Viennoiserie is a breakfast thing. thing. Okay, pour le petit déjeuner. There you go. I just learned a new word. Petit déjeuner. Petit déjeuner. Breakfast. Okay. One word in English, two words in French. So, one, one more time. Breakfast, petit déjeuner. And this is where most French people, uh, when they actually have an, uh, a breakfast, which is not always the case, because yeah, French people, especially in Paris, they're always in a hurry, so they skip breakfast. Anyway, that's a totally different topic, right? But uh, viennoiserie, pain au chocolat, croissant, Pain au raisin, uh, pain au lait, chausson aux pommes, uh, etc. These would be for breakfast. 
bread. As long uh, as the same for bread, actually, bread and viennoiserie are for bread, pâtisserie for dessert. Okay, so again, you will find this on dessert on dessert menu in restaurants. So anything by anything fancy, anything super beautiful and like uh, elaborate and like. Uh, uh, okay, let me go deeper. So this, these are some pastry names you will hear a lot when you go to France like uh, religieuse, religieuse, uh, éclair au chocolat, éclair au chocolat, opéra, opéra, saint honoré, saint honoré, millefeuille, millefeuille, Paris-Brest, Paris-Brest, these are the main pastry you will find and uh, it's, it's a different thing whether you ask for patisserie or viennoiserie. So I think you get the point now. So which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments, right? Do you prefer, are you, which side are you? Uh, pastry, viennoiserie. So did you already know about this? Like did you make that mistake when you went to France or when you, uh, you talked to some French friends around you? Like have you made that mistake? So say it in French in the comment. Yeah, very important. If you're going to comment, all right, let's try to play along, right? And uh, it's a channel all about French and France. So try to express yourself in French in the comment. Don't worry, nobody will tease you or make fun of you. I'll delete the comments or I'll ban them. Don't worry. Okay, I got you. I got you. Man. All right, so uh, leave a comment on uh, which ones are your favorite pastries or viennoiserie. One more time, viennoiserie, viennoiserie. So there you go, there you get it now, the difference. And uh, just know that in North America, they use one word for both, but in, in French, in France, wherever you go in France, whatever region, whatever de department you go, uh, we do make that distinction between pastry so here you go for today that was a video related to food again and there's gonna be a one uh, a lot more about food like a bakery butcher grocery store you name it there's gonna be a lot more and if you wanna if you, if you want me to make some videos about some specific topic that you've been uh, wondering about and strong and struggling with leave, leave, leave a comment and uh, I'll, I'll make a video about it or it's not about uh, what I like, it's mostly about what my audience wants. So it's about what you guys are struggling with. So if you're going to learn French, let's do it the right way, let's do it the proper way. So uh, just leave a comment on what you want to know about, what you would like to see in the future, and uh, I'll reply to it gladly. I love to talk, I love to comment, I love to. Uh, answer questions so there is no such thing as a dumb question that's a stupid question so feel free to ask and uh, I'll reply to it so if you like that video click the thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, you hit the bell so you get notified for uh, every, every time I drop a new video okay so there we go et en attendant à la prochaine see you soon bye